Welcome back to Mars Horizon, folks. We have four missions ongoing. We have the atmospheric sampling, which will be have in four months. We have the control systems check, which is launching in four months. Three months until the next phase for the atmospheric sampling. Uh, for the modular space station, we are building the first shuttle that we're ever sending anywhere and it completes in seven months and then we have our Saturn flyby which completes in six months and then we have an international space station down here which is not complete yet okay we're researching Venus orbit because doing that will give us this boost uh, optimized assembly minus 20% payload build time which is awesome so we're researching that, and that is done now. Venus orbit's research complete. Venus's broiling atmosphere remains a suitably heated area of scientific debate. Sending a probe to perform long-term observations will provide invaluable insights into this complex planet, as well as into the evolution of our solar system. Okay. And we get optimized assembly, minus 20% uh, payload build time, which is awesome. All right. And then let's just take a look around here. Hmm. Hmm. Water sound suppression improves launch reliability when placed next to a medium or large launch pad. Mm. So we're obviously going for... We need to win the, the race to land on Mars, right? Uh, I mean, so, so we, we need to get there, but where do we want to go? I kind of like the idea of the space telescope. The Neptune and Uranus flyby are interesting too, only because they unlock the next section here. The Grand Tour, the Saturn Orbiter, and the Jupiter Orbiter. Let's do the Space Telescope for now. Let's do the Space Telescope. Right, next month. And we are, that's for the atmospheric sampling. This one, I guess. Well, there is a new milestone mission, the Venus orbit. We could do that for fourth. Which is not great, but... I haven't really bothered too much about those kinds of milestones. I've been focused on uh, landing on the moon. That was our goal. And now our goal is kind of the International Space Station. Uh, all right. Atmospheric sampling is ready for its next phase. So let's do that. There's Venus. All right, atmospheric sampling. Let's do this. We have heat that we need to deal with. We get plus three heat on each turn. Okay. How about we do... We need 6, 3, and 7. Okay, so how about we do something like this? That gives us 2, 2, and 1. Which is not wonderful. But it's a start. 
And this limited transfer, oh, that didn't go that well. Right, we'll resist that. Okay. Okay, so we have four heat now. Now, we can do the flyover course adjustment. But do I really want to do that? I think I'd rather do two orbital realignments and then two atmospheric samplings. Well, I want an atmospheric sampling. Gives us four, three, and three. I think I'm okay with that. Orbital realignment. Oh, just failed. We resist it. And the atmospheric sampling went well. Okay, and that takes us up to five heat, which is fine. So now we can do a flyover course adjustment and two atmospheric samplings. But that gives us way, way, way too much data. So I actually think I'd rather do this Yeah. Flyover course adjustment is good. Flyover course adjustment is bad. I think I'll accept that though. And our heat is high, but it doesn't matter because there's no heat check this time. So all we need to do now is do this twice and we've won. And we can even recharge our power once. So confirm. Mission data update. Oh, uh, critical success there. We'll accept that. And the mission data update is good as well. All right. Atmospheric entry. All right. So 851 science for six months, 846 support, and advanced weatherproofing. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, we have an orbital way station. That's guidance system. Neutral event chance is converted to positive event chance during launch. Wow, that is actually pretty cool. And it's a lot of science. Diplomato Diplomatic mission with the U.S. is pretty interesting too. It gives us some money, and it gives us relations with the U.S. With NASA, which I do want. I do want to get our relationship with NASA up. That's just so much science, though. So much science. And support. We're doing this mission. We're putting an extra astronaut on there. Well, an extra astronaut or three extra power. I'm thinking three extra power. Yeah, three extra power. Build that payload. Six months. Okay. We're launching control systems check next month. We're almost there, but we're not quite there, so we won't go up to the next tier. But it's close. We'll get there this year, I think. Control systems check is ready to go. Get a nice bit of science out of it. 
and we've been doing science training. The payload reliability sucks, though. But it is what it is. And it is pouring down. Terrible conditions. We are rescheduling this to February. Or to March, sorry. Next month. Space telescope research complete. Terrestrial telescopes are limited in the resolution of their observations by Earth's atmosphere. Launching an advanced space telescope into low Earth orbit would enable us to capture images of stellar objects in an unprecedented level of detail. Okay. Very good. Uh, so we need the payload as well, of course. The granite. Okay. That actually, granite means, uh, well, grenade. Danish. All right. Well, I guess we're researching that. Nine thousand six hundred science. Jesus. Okay. Saturn flyby payload complete. The Voyager. Very nice. Vehicle booster gains two experience levels after launch. Okay. Control systems check. Ready for launch again. Let's not rain this time, shall we? No, that looks much better. Good conditions. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's launch. Uh, have lift off. Get the tower. That's a good looking rocket. I like that. Go, go, go. Yes, we are out of here. We are out of here. And we had... Oh! So close! Oh, man! Okay. Well, secure launch. That's still good. And the Ariane 1 gets a little bit more reliable. Control systems check. Let's see what we need. Achieve Earth Orbit. We need to deal with heat for that. It's unusual. We have one crew. So how about we spend that one crew there. And then we... Do a ground control connection. We need 5 and 14. In that case, we'll do a signal return test as well. Nice. Very good. The reliability is horrible, though. Absolutely horrible. Wow! That is awesome. Two critical successes. And then a fail, but fair enough. Uh, I'll actually accept that fail. Alright, so we're a little bit hot right now. So what we'll do... I think we'll use this again. And then we'll do this twice. Take us up to six. Yeah. Confirm. Nice. And nice. And orbital realignment is good. Perfect. It takes us up to four. So what I think I want to do is do this once, then do this twice. Actually, no. Do that. That takes us to six and nine. We'll have one turn left after this. So I think we're fine. Let's do it. Signal return test. 
good. Flyover course adjustment will resist that. And the orbital realignment is all good. Okay. We only got up to two heat, so that's fine. That means that we can do a manual trajectory update. And then we can do a ping location and a recharge, and we get our 50% bonus award. So that's not bad. And we get a critical success again. Nice. Very nice. And that actually just does it. Okay. Very good. Very, very good. Down comes our Mercury capsule here. Splash down. And beautiful. All right. 1044 support 905 ex uh, science for four months is not bad. That is not bad. And Carbone is gonna do a bit of recuperating. All right. Now we have a mission here: Mercurial History, a lucrative mission. That's actually quite nice. I wouldn't mind doing that. We could do the Venus orbit as well. Or we could do the Solar Observatory together with the US. And I think I'm going to do the Solar Observatory together with NASA. Stick some extra power on there. Okay, so Horus is complete in a month, Goes is complete in two, Skylab is complete in three. And we have our Saturn flyby, where we need to design a vehicle. And I think... Okay, we need the Athena. It's the only thing that we can choose. And then we could go with the Saturn V, but there's really no need. Could go with the Delta IV or the Titan III. Wow, the Titan III is really unreliable. I think I'm inclined to go with the Delta IV, just because it's so much more reliable. If we do the Titan, then we could do plus 5% launch reliability, or half the chance of critical event during launch. I'm actually thinking that. And that's still cheaper than going with that. Yeah, it definitely is. So let's do this and confirm. The Valiant is okay for a name. I think I'm gonna, we're, we're gonna build this ourselves. We're not gonna go in with the contractor. So, confirm. Build. Okay. What do we have for missions out here? Martian biological experiments. Wow, that's lucrative. Well, we might do that. Modular space station, one vehicle complete. The Hermes. Okay, launch preparations. We're gonna need some crew. 
Darius, you're going up again. Arius, our test pilot, and board our electrician. So the dream team. The dream team. We're going to focus on launch reliability, I think, because the launch reliability is a little low there, and I don't want you guys to blow up. Let's go in July. Three months. There it goes. It is complete. And we'll reuse at a sign. Actually. We can use the Ariane 1. You know what? I am going to delete all our designs here because I don't like any of them really. Sign new vehicle. Upper stage will use Ariane 1. 82,000. 37,000 for a star. Let's choose a star. And then we can do the Ariane 1. Actually, let's go Ariane 1 on both of them because that makes it much more reliable. Look, if we use the star, then it goes down to 62%, Ariane 1, 75. So we're going to use Ariane, Ariane, and the US is paying most of it anyway. And we have how many upgrade points? We have two. So we could go with the reinforced tank walls get the launch reliability any even higher but I think I want to go with compass up casing make it a little bit cheaper though it's not that much 19,000 really doesn't matter does it uh, launch reliability penalty due to next launch conditions plus five percent payload reliability Minus one month vehicle build time. Let's just do the composite casing. Confirm. Build vehicle. Three months. Next. And we have the orbital waste station payload complete. No effects on the payload, so that's good. And we will design a shuttle for it. I think. Yeah, because this will be way, way, way too expensive. This will be two million, more than two million. And if we do the composite, then it'll be one million seven hundred eighty-four thousand. If we design the shuttle instead and put a composite casing on it, then it'll be one million four hundred eighty-seven thousand, and it's a much faster build as well. Beetlejuice, I like it. So cheaper and faster. Build vehicle. All right, let's move on. All right, Granat research complete. A large advanced space telescope specializing in X-ray and gamma ray observations. Okay. And we're launching our modular space station. Very nice. 
decent reliability on both. Good conditions, 5% chance of going boom. 14 of a negative event. That's our first Hermes launch. That's pretty cool. And we are good. We are good. Secure launch. Very nice. And the Hermes gets a little bit more reliable. Look, you can see that it's uh, it's not the NASA shuttle. It's another type of shuttle. That's pretty cool. You can also see that when it launched, of course, because it was on top. And I like it. So, okay, 10 and 20. Well, that means 20 and 40, I guess. Yeah. Okay, and our drift can go to minus 1 to 1. Okay. So... Hmm. If we do this, then we can do that, and we can do that again next turn. That seems pretty good to me. We could also... I mean, we have three people on board, right? So we could use manual data collection, then a flight path control, And then I think an orbital plane adjustment. Yeah. So that takes us to twelve nav already. That's a pretty good start, I think. That's not a good start. We resist it, but we have a lot of power. Okay. And okay. All right. Now. I want to do these two again. And then I'll do that. I'll take us to 24. It's actually... It's actually the data that is hard to get. Oh, come on! Alright, resist it. So, 3 and 24. Okay, we're gonna have to do this, and then we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna do that. So that takes us to 9 and 28. We have four turns remaining. I think we're okay. Resist that. Accept. And gyroscopic stabilization. Ah! Just that. All right. So nine and twenty-eight. We can definitely do a gyroscopic stabilization again. That takes us to eleven and thirty-four. Then we can do. A manual data collection, and then we can conduct some experiments. That takes us to seventeen and thirty-five, and we'll have a couple of turns left. All right, gyroscopic stabilization is good. Manual data collection goes off without a hitch. 
but the experiments are a little bit too complicated. We'll resist. 1735. We can do that. And then we can do that. And then we're there and we can even recharge. And we are within parameters. So 2141 and we can resist as well. So that is perfect. And the gyroscopic stabilization is all good. All right, so that was Earth orbit achieved. Then we need to deploy the module systems. And we need a lot, 18 of each. And drift has to be spot on. And we can only get, s whoa, we can only pull drift to the left by using da manual data collection, okay? Well, we'll do that this turn. So eight, one and three. Good with that. Manual data collection went well. Flight path control was spot on, 100%, well, 92%. And we get two additional uh, data, nice. And then the boosting tra of the transmission did boost so well. We'll resist. Okay. So, eight, three, and three we have. So now we can do a gyroscopic stabilization. That puts us back to zero. Then we can do conduct some experiments and then boost our transmission. That takes us to 10, 9, and 7. I think I'm good with that. 2%. You've got to be kidding me, man. Resist that. Come on. Resist that. And then we get an extra nav. Okay. Okay. So, why don't we do this? That takes us to 10, 13, 13. And then do that. That takes us to 10, 12, and 19. So we're actually one over for the... Nice. For the nav. Very nice. The next additional two nav again, or two data again. Very nice. I'll accept that, most definitely. And the flight path control didn't go so well. It was out of control. We'll resist it. So 10, 14, and 19. That means that we can do this. That gives us that. Then we can effectively do that and that. That almost takes us there. Next turn will be done. 16, 18, and 21. Confirm. Infrared mapping was not infrared. We resist. Oh, come on! The we'll resist that too. Okay. So then we just need to do that, and we can recharge twice. That gives us our fifty percent bonus reward. And there we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Number one, modular space station one. 
first, 500 extra support. Very nice. 3,680 support and 275.5 science for 20 months. I can dig it. Okay. And Jarius, you'll be staying on the space station for another 12 months. Spend a lot of time up there. Okay, so we finished the Granat payload. We need to research Jupiter flyby, don't we? Because if we do that first, then we get that reward. It's not the greatest reward, but it's a reward. And there's this. So we have a mission slot. Saturn flyby completes in three months. Orbital way station in eight. Solar observatory in one. I want to do the space telescope. We are the only ones who have the research. So I am actually thinking before this request mission goes away, we're going to plan that. We'll put an ex a bit of extra money on there to get the extra power. Okay, solar observatory vehicle is complete. Let's do let's do launch reliability training. Launch date. Whoa. Suboptimal launch date. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, did we get uh, optimal launch windows become suboptimal launch windows. Okay. So. Okay, so let's go in January. Let's go in January. Seventy-nine. Actually, December gets seventy-nine as well. So let's just go in December. Update. Confirm. Okay. We have 17% Mars readiness now. That's pretty good. We're pulling away from China. Next month. Mission out here. Exospheric studies. Okay. Next month. Saturn flyby vehicle complete. Very nice. Minus 10% launch reliability. I don't like that. The launch reliability was 47%. We're definitely going launch reliability. No doubt about that. And we're going in July, I guess. Because we're certainly not going with 42%. So 62%. Seems better to me. That's in nine months. We're launching the solar observatory in two months. The Vesta is complete in two months. We have funding review in three months. We don't have any mission slots available. So, and no one has researched a space telescope yet, right? No. Good. Good. And we're researching the Jupiter flyby. We're not getting a whole lot of science at the moment, but we will soon enough. But anyway, we are out of time, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.